Hi guys, Wix and Webflow are two of the most popular website builders today, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between Wix and Webflow, and we'll consider six criteria to see how these two tools stack up. We'll leave the link in the description, you can use it, and you can start with a free version, and if you like it more, you can upgrade, risk-free. And thank you for using the links in the description. So let's find out which is better for you. For the ease of use. Having a website builder that's easy to use often means sacrificing flexibility. However, Wix stands out as an exception to this rule. With hundreds of templates and a drag and drop that allows you to place elements anywhere on the page, Wix is designed to help you create a website quickly. While there's a bit of a learning curve, it's manageable. And Wix's knowledge base is packed with resources to help you out. Webflow is often touted as an easier alternative to WordPress, but it still requires some effort to get comfortable with. The visual designer looks a lot like Photoshop, which may be overwhelming for those who aren't familiar with it. While you don't need to know how to code to use Webflow, understanding HTML and CSS can be advantageous as these languages can be used to customise Webflow websites completely. Fortunately, the Webflow University provides an abundance of resources, including courses, tutorials and articles, to assist you. However, it may take some extra time to locate the support you need. And for the blogging? In today's digital landscape, having a blog is essential for any brand or website to enhance their credibility and improve their SEO. Wix makes it incredibly easy to create a blog on your website. You can either choose a website template with a pre-built blog section or use a specific blog template to keep your main website and blog separate. With Wix's visual editor, you can customize your blog with categories, tags, author information, images, videos, HTML code and galleries. On the other hand, Webflow offers a robust content management system that allows you to edit and upload content directly from the Webflow dashboard. It even has an on-page editing feature that lets you make changes live on your website. Webflow also generates meta descriptions, graph settings and meta titles automatically to ease your workload. While setting up a blog on Webflow requires more effort than Wix, the customization options are much better. You can create custom fields, unique landing pages and much more. And for the SEO features, when it comes to building a website, one of the most important things to consider is SEO. That's why we're going to compare the SEO features of Wix and Webflow. Keep in mind that SEO is a complex topic and even with all the proper optimizations, the quality of your content plays a big role in your website's ranking on search engines. Both Wix and Webflow offer some great SEO features to help you rank better. They both have automatic XML sitemaps editable robots, text files, automatic canonical tags, 301 redirects, SSL certificates, and structured data. But Webflow does offer some extra features that Wix doesn't, such as page speed optimizations and code minification. In conclusions, both platforms have a lot to offer when it comes to SEO. So make sure to focus on creating high quality content and using all the SE tools available to you, no matter which platform you choose. And for the e-commerce. To get started with e-commerce on Wix, you'll need to purchase an e-commerce plan. Once you've done that, setting up your online store is super easy. You can sell as many digital and physical products as you want, and Wix takes care of everything from processing payments to tracking your products and handling shipping. They also offer integration with drop shipping services, which can be a huge time saver for online store owners. Moving on to Webflow, their e-commerce features were launched in 2018 and have been improving ever since. Unlike Wix, there is a limit to how many products you can sell on each plan. However, Webflow offers better customization options for your online store. You can create custom product fields and build custom landing pages, giving you more control over the look and feel of your store. Another great thing about Webflow is that you can sell both physical and digital products. One thing to note is that if you want to set up abandoned cart recovery, you'll need to integrate your website with a third-party plugin called Monto. And for the third-party integrations, adding third-party apps to your website can give you more functionality and features. 
Wix and Webflow both offer a variety of third-party integrations, so let's take a closer look. Wix's app market offers over 500 apps, including Wix's own apps like Wix Bookings and Wix Members Area. You can easily enable any of these apps with just one click. You don't need to embed any code to your website, making it easy to use. On the other hand, Webflow offers more than 250 apps in its integration library, which are divided into categories like analytics, e-commerce, memberships, email marketing, and more. You can even integrate your own app with Webflow if you have the integration. However, to use any of these apps, you need to embed their code on your website. And for the pricing, Webflow offers a range of plans that cater to different needs, whether you're creating a simple personal website or a more complex business or e-commerce site. Here's a quick summary of their plans. For personal sites, you can choose from the starter plan, which is free and great for learning how to use Webflow. The basic plan, $14 per month billed yearly. The CMS plan, $23 per month billed yearly. Or the business plan, at $39 per month build yearly. And if you need enterprise level security, compliance and scalability, then the enterprise plan is the one for you. For e-commerce sites, they have the standard plan, $29 per month build yearly, the plus plan, $74 per month build yearly, and the advanced plan, $212 per month build yearly. As always, it's important to know that these plans are subject to change, so be sure to check out the Webflow website for the latest pricing information. Now let's talk about Wix. They also offer a range of pricing plans starting from the most basic Connect Domain plan, which costs just $4.50 per month, but has limited features and displays the Wix branding on your site, all the way up to the most advanced Business VIP plan. For personal use, you can choose between the Combo plan, which costs $8.50 per month, or the Unlimited plan, which costs $12.50 per month. And if you're looking to create an online store, they offer three pricing plans. Business Basic at $17 a month, Business Unlimited at $25 a month, and Business VIP $35 per month. All in all, both Webflow and Wix offer affordable and flexible pricing plans that cater to different needs and budgets. Be sure to choose the plan that best suits your needs and goals to get the best value out of these platforms. So choosing between Wix and Webflow depends on your business and your needs. Both website builders come with advantages and disadvantages, so there's no best solution. It will depend on your current needs. Whichever tool you choose, we'd recommend trying the free version first, risk-free, and if you like it, upgrading. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. Check the links in the description. That helps a lot too, thank you. And hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.